Hello, my name is Clark Crenshaw. I'm a photographer living in Garland, Texas. Uh, for many years, I sold my f photography at outdoor art shows around the country. Um, last year, I kind of retired from that, but I still sell images through my website or, you know, I license images, uh, sell prints, and have some things published every now and then. Uh, this year's Texas Highways calendar just happened to use a few of mine if you've come across it. Uh, but anyway, look forward to seeing all your images, and good luck to everybody. Starting out with the entry images. Next image is Lufa Plant, also received nine points. Actually, the color on this one's really good, and, and I like the blurry background. Probably what pulled it down was the bud itself wasn't really that interesting. I don't know if it had some kind of little bug crawling on it, a ladybug or something like that. That would have sure helped it. And actually, the two out-of-focus buds behind it, I don't know, they, they really kind of detracted from this more than they helped, actually. I, I might have, would have tried to isolate this bud by itself. Spillway. Oh, and it received nine points. I actually felt this one needed a lot more contrast, but several things might have helped this one. I thought straightening, I say the horizon looks like say, the top of the spillway is, I guess, what that is. But maybe straightening that up, but but most of all, it, it just needed a little more contrast. Uh, that, that was what would have helped it a lot. Just kick the contrast up a, a fair amount, and it would have looked a lot better. Illusion. That one received nine points. Part of... What kind of bothered me on this one, uh, you kind of had some sunlight hitting the ground right in front of the bike. A, a little bit hit the hit the rim of the front tire, but I, I would have shot it in a different light. Maybe either in total shadow, so you didn't have the hot spot in front of it, or maybe all in sunlight where you got maybe an interesting shadow cast from the bike on the wall. But it, it, like I say, it really came out just almost looking like a silhouette against the wall, which I don't think was the best representation of it. Kenya Sunset gave that one nine points. This particular image ha had some nice sunset going on. Probably what I didn't like about it, you, you really kind of cut off the giraffe kind of chest high. I've seen similar images, and what makes them great is they've captured the subject, oh, say, like on top of a hill or a ridge, where, where really you see, you know, the legs and everything of the giraffe, and it just really makes for a little more uh, interesting shot. Petite purple parasols. This one got 10 points. Kind of pretty looking flowers. I'm not sure if that's maybe the best examples of them. They're just really the lighting on this one really kind of hurt it a lot, I thought. It, it just kind of blew out. Uh, you know, backlighting sometimes works. I'm not sure if it worked quite worked that well for me on this one. Uh, and really the only sharp part of it was kind of the little stamens or whatever on the flower on the left. Every, everything in the, else in the image was pretty soft. Silent Watch Cannon uh, that received 10 points. Kind of a neat looking cannon overlooking some city. A couple things about this one. I noticed the horizon really slopes quite a bit. Uh, another thing which might have helped look like you shot it really right in the middle of the day, which probably is just not the best time of day to do something like this. A polarizer may have helped this. Uh, it may have cut some of the haze in the back and kind of made the clouds back there and the blue in the sky maybe pop a little. Maybe a little different time of day probably would have been best. Flag, it received 10 points. It's actually a pretty nice image. Uh, I think slightly brighter might have helped it. A few tweaks to the composition would probably also help it. Uh, I felt like if you could have got the flag maybe positioned a little higher somehow and got rid of, say, the dirt in the bottom left corner and maybe come in a little on the right side and just came to the corner of the stone, it, that might have been a little better composition. And, and, and something where you raised it, where, the, you know, you saw all the flag and not, kind of cutting off the tip of it there. Pennybacker Bridge. Uh, this one received 10 points. You got kind of overcast, almost foggy day. Probably not the best light uh, that you could have shot this in. Uh, the composition and all is pretty good and looks like a neat subject. I'd maybe go several ways on this. 
maybe shoot it i think in the evening the light's probably coming in on this spot pretty good but i i would think if you got a foggy day which really hid some of the background and just you know hid some of the highway maybe i, I think that might be interesting if if you could catch it on such a time the white structures kind of distract from it more than anything i, I wish it was just the golf course without the tents Chihuly in the desert uh this one received 10 points pretty interesting shot of the glass uh the colors are all punchy and bright you you almost cross the line a little bit with the punchiness and the saturation of the colors i know a lot of people when they start out they kind of tend to overdo it a little and this this one's pretty close to it but anyway i felt like the composition or something might could have been a little better here but other, otherwise pretty good shot uh, the next image is old cameras. Uh, this one received 11 points. Kind of interesting, the old cameras and, and how you did it panoramic uh, instead of just, you know, square or rectangle. A couple of things that might have helped. I'm not sure if the purple light on it helped it or hurt it. It made it look a little funky, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I necessarily liked it that much that way or not. But anyway, pretty interesting shot. Teton Peak Abu. This one received 11 points. You had some pretty good morning light. I'm not sure if it was just a little bit after the sun had come up, so it seemed like it might have lost some of the warmth it might have had a little earlier, or, or maybe it was just kind of one of those kind of days where it didn't have a lot of warmth. Since the mountains was totally covered up with clouds, I'm not sure if I would have included as much of the clouds as you did. This one is called Sugar Sugar. Uh, it received 11 points. Really a neat idea. Uh, I'm not sure if it quite came off oh, as well as it could have. The, the contrast is a little much on this one. The, the composition is fine, the placement of all the elements. Really a little different lighting would have probably helped this one a whole lot. Uh, this image is called Gate View of Flowers. Uh, received 11 points. Pretty good shot of some uh, kind of a, a wagon wheel, I guess it is. But actually you had pretty good soft, probably morning light. I guess it could have been the evening. You kind of got the center of the wheel just really right in the center of the photograph. And I'm usually not a big fan of bullseye and stuff quite that way. You could probably take this same image and crop it a little and, and I'd like it a lot better. That You'd get rid of a few things that weren't really helping the image that much. Because uh, it's really kind of kind of about the flowers and... Uh, you know, they're, they're an important part of it, too. Pretty dicey. It received 11 points. Kind of interesting. Did pretty good on the lighting. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of things particularly wrong with it. I just thought some of the others were maybe a little more interesting. Most of the exposure and everything, you did pretty good on this for the most part. Fairyland Canyon of Bryce National Park. Uh, this one received 11 points. A pretty good shot of the hoodoos at Bryce. I'm okay with the composition. You got kind of a couple of the hoodoo formations in the front, then another layer, then another layer in the back. The light wasn't quite right. It, it looks like it was probably morning. Most of the interesting light and shadows is really all on the on the left side of the image. Uh, I would have liked to see a little more of the sunlight hitting on towards the middle. A little more contrast would have helped on this one, too. It, it's almost hazy looking for some reason. I, I played with it, and oh, contrast helped, and actually the dehaze slider on camera raw seemed to help it, too. Rainbow over Burnt Forest. Uh, this one received 11 points. Uh, I actually had a neat rainbow going, pretty bright color through the whole thing. Probably what I didn't like was just it was the Burnt Forest. Uh, I'm not sure if having a bunch of kind of dead burnt up, half burnt up trees for the foreground really did it, did the rainbow justice. For me, the, the dead trees kind of hurt this one. Exposure and everything else is pretty good though. Calm Before the Storm. Uh, this one received 12 points. Kind of an interesting image here. Exposure and composition and everything are pretty good. I, I guess I'm not a giant fan of just getting getting somebody interesting and, or different looking and having them do a weird pose uh, and getting a shot of that. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I guess I like to know kind of what's going on, why, why she's there and leaning back the way she is. If, 
I guess if she was doing something that looked a little more natural, maybe maybe I would have given it a little higher score. Next image is I Am Not Shy. This one received 12 points. Anyway, interesting shot of this deer. Uh, the light's a little flat, and I don't know, the image could have been a little bit brighter. Uh, that would have helped a little. He kind of cut off one of his feet. That might have helped a little bit to gotten all of that in. Other than that, it's a pretty interesting shot. Indifference. It received 13 points and was our first honorable mention. It was kind of interesting and well done. Um, I don't know, exposure and everything was good, so it got 13 points and honorable mention. South Plaza Galapagos resident. Let's see, it was 13 points and it also received an honorable mention. It's kind of a neat shot. Good and sharp. Uh, the color's good. Really like the blurry background. Probably what I thought might have helped it. Uh, I know this guy's probably got a pretty long tail, but you, you really kind of cut him off right there behind the hind legs. You know, I guess ideally if his tail wrapped around in front of him and you could add the whole thing showing, then that really would have kicked this one up a couple of notches. Because everything else is pretty neat about it. Uh, the next image is titled Madonna. It's a score of 13, and it received a third place. Uh, it was kind of a, a, a neat eye for seeing this. I don't know, kind of the colorful clothes that the person is wearing, uh, and then the, the child's feet kind of sticking out. Uh, the image is just a little bit flat, lightened up, a little more contrast and pop on the colors and all, and this one would have looked a lot better. You know, every, everything else was okay with it. Meet You This Summer Morning, 14 points, and it received a second place. This is a pretty, pretty nicely done image. I don't know, the colors really pop, but still look natural. Uh, but kind of like the composition, uh, the dark background. Probably one thing I thought would help a little bit, right on the bottom, almost center, you got kind of a bright whitish looking thing on the leaf there. I, I would have probably just cropped up just a tad and got rid of that because it's kind of distracting. Just having that little brighter spot down there at the bottom that, that really isn't adding anything to the image. A washing machine uh, received 15 points and uh, first place. Pretty neat image. It captured all the elements well. You know, it's a black and white. It's got a good range of tones and all that. And kind of a funny expression on the kid's face. I kind of like pretty much everything about this and what you did. I, that's the only thing I could say is I might have liked to have seen it in color. Other than that, you did everything right. And uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, well done. Intermediate uh, group titled The Pollinator. It received nine points. Got some nice color on this one. Uh, the middle kind of stamens and all on this flower are kind of sharp and I like that. Probably the things that would have helped that the background is really busy. I would probably like to see a more out of focus and softer looking background and, and definitely not as busy. You might have had to do a little focus stacking, but I would have probably liked to have seen all the kind of ends of the petals and all of this flower sharp too. Still Life 10. It received a score of 9 points. The color isn't too bad on this one. The image overall, it's, it's just a little bit dark. The beer bottle borderlines on maybe being interesting and maybe just kind of being an old dirty beer bottle you picked up out of a creek or something. Uh, but anyway, maybe may a little different choice of subjects and, and maybe a little little brighter on, on the lighting and exposure too. Next image is titled No Pets Allowed. This one received 10 points. Pretty well exposed. Composition isn't too bad. Some of the bright areas are, are getting pretty hot looking. It's, it's slightly a little more contrasty looking than, than I would have liked, uh, but everything else there is okay. Uh, the image overall just, oh, I don't know, it, it kind of had a lot of stuff in it. I don't know if they all really kind of worked together real well. So anyway, that, that's where I was with it. Napa Soda Springs Chairs, this one received 10 points. It's actually pretty good exposure and all on this one. Uh, good color. 
I would assume that the main subject of this image is the chairs, because it's, for the most part, the only interesting thing on here. I, I would have maybe gone up to the fence, got out my longer lens, and included just some of the hillside, the tree, and the red chairs, and made the two red chairs way, way bigger and more prominent in, in this image. Just, just having a couple of small red chairs in the distance really didn't do it for me that much. The next image is titled Morning Star. Uh, it received 10 points. The subject matter is kind of interesting. I don't know, you might, maybe a different composition or maybe having it a little more head on to the star was a little more distinguished. I might have liked it better. And on the processing, I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of images that look like they're HDR, if, if that makes any sense. This one is titled Balancing Act. It received 10 points. I guess what really hurt it for me, the all the people, that they just really look like they were cut out and put there. You know, you got a real narrow depth of field on the guitar, but then everything on these guys is sharp. They just look cut out and put there. It really kind of hurt it for me a lot. Uh, but other than that, uh, interesting idea and creative and, and keep that up. Froggy Bottoms. Uh, this one received 10 points. Looks like it was probably Caddo Lake. I've been there many times. One thing about Caddo Lake, it's kind of like Bryce Canyon. Almost everything you look at looks like it's a cool picture. The light's pretty good on this one, and you know, the exposure and all is good because part of it's catch some diffuse sunlight. But I, I don't know if the composition did anything all that special. It's just kind of part of the lake with, with the trees and, and not really any central tree that stands out or, or anything like that. Sunset Cruise on Lake Tahoe. This one received 10 points. Looks like y'all had a pretty sunset. Almost felt like it needed a little something else to sort of kick it up a couple notches. You know, maybe a couple of sailboats out there or or something. I mean, the way it is now, it's, it's kind of kind of a pretty sky and kind of, kind of a silhouette of some mountains and, and, and that's it. Uh, the next image, uh, Turning Eggs. This one received 11 points. Kind of a neat shot of an egret on a nest. It's a little harsh and contrasty looking. I, I would have liked to, oh, still seen some of the detail in the white feathers of the bird. A whole, whole lot of the white part of the bird is, is kind of, oh, pretty much blown out and not having really any of the detail. And, and the image overall is a little bit contrasty and that probably contributes to it. And the next image, uh, get my good side. This one received 11 points. Uh, this is a pretty nice shot of a bald eagle. The color and exposure and all that's pretty good. A couple of things that might have helped but behind his head, actually connecting with some of the white on his beak there, uh, was some of the sky, which, which kind of distracted from me having having that bright sky right kind of blended in with part of his head. And also, you really feel like you're really looking up at this bird. Um, I know it's not easy to get a more level shot sometimes if they're up in the tree, but that would have helped. The next image is Amsterdam Bikes. It received 11 points. Fairly interesting shot of this group of bikes in front of an old building. Uh, the exposure uh, and light and all is pretty good on this one. A couple of things about this one that might have, for me, might have helped is almost too many bikes. <laughs> And I might have tried to shot it in a way where you included that building in the back, uh, you know, the main one, but not really much of the stuff on the side. Because especially the, to the right of that building, I don't know, you see some kind of sign with an M on it and a bunch, bunch of poles and lights and stuff, which really, I don't know, just kind of added more clutter to this shot. But anyway, n neat idea. Next one is called a Bryce Canyon Spring. This one received 12 points. Well, it's a neat place to be in the snow. Like I said before, Bryce, just everywhere you look, looks neat. Especially when it's got snow on it like this. Kind of a neat shot, pretty well exposed and all that. Uh, it does look like you're pretty much middle of the day. Uh, that didn't hurt it that much, but I, I think a little earlier in the day would have helped. 
You got a little bit of a snow drift on the right side in the foreground. I might have tried to included more of that in the foreground. And I think maybe a little better on the foreground would have worked on that one. Next image is called Chief Sunflower. This one received 12 points. Pretty good shot of a sunflower. Uh, you know, the exposure and everything's sharp. It's supposed to be sharp. And, but anyway, good shot. Next image is called Colorado Morning. It received 12 points. This is really a pretty morning you got. Uh, kind of got a little fog going with some light on it. I, I might have scored it a little higher if it just had a little something else to focus on. You know, maybe some elk in the meadow or, or deer out there in the light of the meadow. Or maybe a guy trout fishing out in the stream. Or It is a real pretty picture the way it is though. Fly, Eagle Fly. This one received 12 points. Now this one, I don't feel like I'm looking up at it at all, really. You almost look like you're at the same level as the eagle. Even though the background's a little busy, most of it's fairly out of focus, so it doesn't detract too much. I, I think this one, the color balance could have been warmed up a little bit. Uh, I would have maybe tried to just blur that a little more so the, the mesh of the cage didn't show so much or... But otherwise, a good, good shot of the eagle and, you know, everything important is good and sharp the way it should be. Next image, uh, it's titled, It's Fall in Yellowstone. It received 13 points and is our first honorable mention. Pretty neat panorama of stretch of aspens. Caught it at a good time. The color was good. Looks like you got some light on the trees, but not so much on the mountain, which is ac which is actually pretty good. It sort of made the trees stand out pretty good. But anyway, a nice image. The next one is called Going Carding. It received 13 points and uh, honorable mention for that one too. Good shot of this peacock with his tail all flared out. You kind of caught it at an, quite an angle, so there there wouldn't have been any way really to kept all of the tail feathers tack sharp or anything. I would have maybe just cropped some off the left side, which, you know, you wouldn't be losing anything really important so much. And I think that would have helped a little. Other than that, pretty good shot. Fort Griffin Administration Building After the Storm. This one received 14 points and third place. I kind of like this one, although I could have been pretty critical of this one if some things hadn't been right. I kind of actually like the way you process the sky. Uh, I see a lot of the Milky Way stuff that, man, they they just pump up too much color in there that just you just really don't see it all. You, you, you brought up the contrast of the stars and a little of the Milky Way stood out, but you didn't, didn't do that. You didn't add a bunch of crazy color like I see in a lot of them. I really kind of like the image and the, and the way you did the sky on it. Uh, this next image is titled Nature's Camouflage. It received 14 points and I gave it a second place. Uh, a lot of neat things about this one. You got the that big old sunflower, kind of the, almost the matching gr colored grasshopper sitting on there. But you got all the sunflowers good and tack sharp. But then you got the background flowers, which they're way out of focus. Also worked good for you that there weren't any clouds in the sky. If there had been a bunch of clouds or if it had been an overcast day or or whatever, it, it I don't think it would have worked as good. Uh, good shot. Clyde, it received 15 points and a first place. I don't know, I really like this one. It's, it's a really neat low-key kind of shot. So much of it is dark and even just black, but you see just enough detail of the lighter parts of the dog to, you know, really, really just see all the detail you need. I really like the way that was rendered and just kind of the look on his face and everything. Um, really, really cool looking shot. First place to that one. But anyway, congratulations to all the winners and hope the comments there were helpful. This is the advanced section. Uh, the first image is reminds me of a pinwheel. It, it received nine points. Kind of an interesting looking flower that does look a lot like a pinwheel. The background's really distracting, but it, it really detracts from the image. Maybe tone it down a, a little bit on the contrast, and I think that would have helped. 
Next image is titled the Human Rights Center Nuremberg. It received nine points. I like the processing on the black and white. It's got a good range of tones, and I don't think you, you know, got it too contrasty or too flat. I think you got it about right. Probably what hurt it, I think, included too much. All those round columns on the right side, I think that's really your neat shot here, is, is utilizing that. I, I would crop that out to where you have just the woman in black kind of walking down through the columns. All this building and windows and stuff on the left, they just added too much distracting stuff to that image. The Elm Fork Bridge received 10 points. This was a an infrared. Kind of a neat looking bridge. I'm not sure if the infrared really helped it or hurt it. <laughs> just looking at the shadows, it looks like it was probably right in the middle of the day it was taken. Just kind of the red and green combination of colors the way this came out. I'm, I'm not sure if that made for a good image here. Next image is titled Water Lily. It received 10 points. The color is good and, and the exposure for the most part is good. A few things about it, you really got it just centered, just, just bullseyed. Uh, sometimes that can work. None of it really seems sharp. I would probably want to see all this pretty tack sharp, and I think I would have liked it a lot better. But I think just the overall, the whole thing was a little bit soft, uh, and that, that kind of hurt it for me. Seaside Spiral uh, received 11 points. This is a pretty good shot. Got kind of the little Nautilus with the little curve spiraling out from it. I'm not sure if this was necessarily done in a way that made it stand out from other shots of these things. Also felt like it could have been a little sharper. It's, it just seemed like some of it was a little soft. I would like this, all this to be tack sharp, but it's it just got some soft spots. The moving cloud and wave uh, it received 11 points. Kind of a pretty scene. Looks like you were out there probably right in the middle part of the day. I've done a little long exposure stuff, so I guess you had some neutral density filters stacked on here to, to really give it a long exposure during the day. I'm not sure if that saved the shot or really, you know, made it any better than it would have been if you just shot it straight on. I kind of liked the way the water does blur around the rocks in the front left. I would have maybe got a little closer to some of that so it was maybe a little pronounced and maybe, you know, you could really see the blurring water a little more than you do. Maybe a little different composition, I guess is what I'm saying, M might have helped this one. Lafoten uh, received 12 points. On this one, the most important elements on this really are the mountains and then the village uh, with the docks and all the little red houses and all that around the shore. However, what I probably think would have improved it, you used almost well, probably the lower 40% of this picture is really some of the snow with a bunch of the dead trees. I'm not sure if I'd included them at all because that's not really what's neat in this picture is the mountain and the houses. I think it would have been a lot better if you just left out all those, all that stuff at the bottom of this shot. Arizona Morning uh, gave it a score of 12 points. Uh, actually a pretty neat rock feature. Like you got some nice morning light coming in on it. Exposure and, you know, everything is good on this one. Looks like everything's pretty sharp as it should have been. It's just needed a little something else to help this one out. I don't know, maybe some people on the right side, you know, walking up to it. or It just needed a little something else going on to kind of kick it up a couple notches. Nice shot, though. Bridge open at midnight, St. Petersburg. Uh, this one received 12 points. Looks like a pretty neat night shot of a busy, busy location with the drawbridge and the building behind it. Almost looks like you got a little too much pop on some of the color. That doesn't bother me too much. I, I might have waited for some of the boats to clear out of the way. Look like you got the one boat that looked like it's getting ready to go through the drawbridge part. I, I like that, but you got two more, maybe three more over here to the right of that. It really kind of distracting. I might have liked it if all that was clean except for just one boat kind of going through there. Uh, but anyway, neat shot. Sunset in Iceland uh, received 13 points and was the first honorable mention. Pretty neat shot, got a neat little church, 
Got a neat sunset sky going. A couple things about this that, that might have helped. Uh, I don't know. There's there's like a, a, a telephone pole with looks like a transformer on it and some other poles and other stuff all out there. I don't know if there would have been a, a better, cleaner angle of this church where it was just church without so much of those other little things going on. But I think I would have liked it better if somehow all the other stuff was cleaned out of the picture. But anyway, neat shot. Storm clouds over Caddo Lake. This one received 13 points in a third place. This one had some really neat light going. It kind of focused a little more on the the one tree that's out in front of all the group of trees behind it. Uh, and actually had kind of some neat sky going on with it. Really like this one. And maybe if you could gotten maybe a little lower or different spot and, and maybe made some of the lily pads a little bigger and more prominent in the foreground, I would I would have liked that about it too. But other than that, pretty neat image. Street artist is looking for a donation. This one received 14 points and was second place. I have a very well done shot of you know this gal sitting there in the street painting. The composition works pretty good. And the bottom just left the center. Got part of some writing on there. I wish maybe that wasn't there. But anyway, I like the shot a lot. And uh, second place gave me 14 points. Three calla lilies uh, received 15 points in first place. See a lot of shots of calla lilies, so it's sometimes hard to not get too used to seeing different shots of calla lilies. But you did this one really well. There really wasn't too much I had a problem with here. The flowers itself, uh, every bit of all three of them is, is tack sharp. The background is kind of dark and way, way out of focus. So there's not really anything back there distracting. But anyway, that's uh, your first place image in this category. Uh, congratulations to, to all the winners and hope my comments helped. Uh, now we'll do the, the final category, uh, the Masters. Sunset Palette, I uh, gave that a score of 9 points. It's a nice, pretty sunset we had going on here. Uh, I almost wish a few more things were going on with this one. The, the tree itself is, it's okay, but it's not really quite doing enough to, to pull this one off for me. I also kind of wondered about the sky. If you sort of didn't push the processing a little to pull some color out of that sky. The sun's still up pretty good there, it looks like. And just, I don't know, some of the purples and all on the right side look, don't quite look right to me for some reason. And actually, if you look at the trunk of the tree where the mountain's behind, it's kind of like it's purple on one side, and, and it's like a different shade to the left of the tree there. Uh, I don't know, some, some of that I wasn't sure what was going on with that. Surveying my domain. This one received 10 points. It's a fairly decent shot of the seagull. Um, it does look like it was shot pretty much right in the middle of the day. And the light is, is a little kind of contrasty and harsh. Uh, the white part of the bird's chest, uh, it's kind of pretty much blown out white. And, it, and even a little some of the bright spots on the on the top of the piece of wood that he's sitting on. Some of those areas are pretty well blown out. And sometimes it's hard to keep it from doing that when, you, when you're when you shooting and, you know, when the light's really harsh. Grand Teton Summer uh, gave that one 11 points. Kind of a nice shot of this one. I, I you know, I like kind of the composition of the, the plant life in front of the mountains. Having some light on the mountain might have helped. The, the light on the plant life in the foreground, it, it's pretty even, but I, I don't know, a little, little better morning light on that might have helped too. Uh, I, I might have liked a few more flowers in that foreground a little too, or maybe a few more on the right side to kind of even out the pink flowers that are on the left side, you know, just kind of balance all that out a little bit. But anyway, pretty nice shot. Basket with fruit. I gave that one 11 points. This was a pretty nice still life. Uh, it was kind of nicely arranged, and I like what you did there. A couple things with the composition might have helped. The the flower on the bottom towards the right, man, I'd have given that a little more space. It looks like it had, had a good reflection going of it there, too, which, which you might have included more of that. Another thing that would have helped this one... The color balance is way too warm. Uh, you just got a, a little, little too warm on the color balance on this one. 
lunch on the fly. Uh, gave this one 11 points. Pretty neat shot of not even sure what kind of bird that is. Not easy to capture birds that fly. Usually you got to shoot about a million shots and a few of them you catch it right and catch it in focus and all that stuff. This one did a pretty good job of that. Boy, it almost looks like you've brightened the head of the bird up maybe a little too much. But a pr pretty good shot and capture of this bird. Arboretum water lilies. Uh, this one I gave 11 points. It's a pretty nice shot of these water lilies. Composition is good. Overall, I thought the image was a little dark. I wouldn't mind if it was lightened overall and then even lightened the flowers so they stood out. I, both of those things would be fine with me. Uh, another thing which might have helped, there's sure a lot of glare on the lily pads. Might have tried a polarizer, depending on the exact angle of the sun. Sometimes a polarizer will just cut all that glare. And, and that would have helped this one if, if a polarizer could have taken that away from you or taking it off the lily pad. After the storm has passed, uh, that one received a score of 11. It's a pretty nice black and white image. I almost wondered if you didn't include too many things in there. You got kind of the field with all the hay bales and then part of the field looks like it's in sunlight back there. Then you got what looks like a river. I, I might have tried to, I don't know, simplify the composition a little bit. Maybe cut it down where it doesn't have quite so much going on. I might have toned the contrast down a little bit too. I don't know, so, the, like the clouds I kind of like, but the, some of the hills off in the distance almost are going black. But then, uh, then you got this area of rolled up hay that's in the sunlight, and it's it's almost blown out by the sunlight. So I, I don't know, I, I would have maybe tried to control the contrast on this one a little bit. Uh, sharing the morning gossip. Uh, this one received a score of 12. Kind of a neat shot of a couple of toucans. Uh, looks like the exposure's good and everything's sharp that needed to be. Uh, probably what hurts it is, the, you know, the fact that, that they're obviously, uh, you know, in some sort of cage. You, you can see the, the wire and all behind them pretty good. And the, the background does get pretty distracting. Uh, actually, even without the case, the background is a little distracting. Uh, what might could help is if you could try and selectively darken most of that quite a bit, and that would that would kind of tone down all that busyness of it a little bit, which, which would help. Monuments with clouds. Uh, this one received a score of twelve. Uh, it was also received an honorable mention. It's kind of a neat shot of Monument Valley. Pretty sky going on. A couple of things that I might have done is try and maybe featured one of the buttes or monuments, maybe a little more than some of the others. Another thing which which I have to look close to see this, but I don't know if you over sharpened it or but the edges of all the landscape just looks a little edgy. Uh almost a little cut out, I guess you could say. And uh but I'm not I'm not sure what you did there. Uh but I, I thought it was a little a little edgy looking on the, the features there. Art Deco Couple uh, received a score of 13 points, and I gave that one an honorable mention. Kind of an interesting looking couple here. A little guy with all the tattoos. Uh, it's a pretty nice portrait of them. Some of the features of the people kind of blend right into that black background. Seemed like the suspender on the guy's shoulder, just you can't tell any difference in it in the background. Some of the hair on his head and her head just seems to just blend right, go right into the background. You really don't see any separation in that. I would, I would like to see just a little bit of detail to kind of separate those two things. Um, but anyway, hope that helps. Power of the Crystal. This received a score of 14 and a third place. It's kind of an interesting shot. I'm not sure who this lady is or what exactly she's doing there with the crystal, but you got a pretty good shot of it. The exposure and composition, everything is, is kind of the way it should be on this. Probably one thing that I did wonder about was the, the flare coming out of the crystal. A few parts of that made me look, wonder if it was maybe added. Just a few things about it. I don't know. The back of her hand seems to really be bright when it seems like it would be a little darker, more in shadow if the light was actually coming out of the crystal. 
That was probably the only thing I questioned on that one. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Nuts for Nuts. Uh, this one received 15 points and a second place. I'm probably not the expert on street photography and, and really don't really do any, but, but I did kind of like this one. Uh, the composition, the color, and everything was really good on this. Uh, kind of like the expression of the, the guy selling the nuts. He's, he's not having a very busy day, obviously. And then the, then the weird looking dude carrying the broom across there. <laughs> he he kind of adds to it too. I don't know. The, the shot probably would have been just as good without the guy with the broom or, you know, it, it came out okay either way. Even just a shot of the guy in a broom going by it would have probably been okay. Uh, but anyway, nice shot. Uh, well done. Uh, the final image in this group, Cowboy and His Horse. Uh, this one received a score of 15 and got first place. Uh, this is really a nice black and white portrait of this guy and his horse. It all really stands out from the dark background good. Everything is all really sharp and crisp. Uh, did a great job of the, oh, just the tones, you know, the darks and the lights. Um, you know, some of the other back and whites, I commented they were too contrasty. And hopefully y'all can see the difference in one that really got all the tones right, because this one did. So anyway, great shot. Congratulations to this one and all the other winners in this category, and hope my comments helped. Best of show. Uh, I gave that one uh, to Clyde. It was the first place image in the intermediate group. Uh, but anyway, congratulations on that one. That one was uh, just kind of a different low-key kind of image, and uh, what you did to to that shot really really worked and really liked it real kind of creative way of uh, getting a picture of the dog. Uh, congratulations.